Hi everyone, it's the first week in January. I do, I've been sneezing a lot and I have a runny nose. So forgive me if you see me doing that. Okay, this video is all the bad things or all the wrong things that I've did while I was um, dating the last, I guess, 13 years. The number one thing is um, I believe the guys. I believed everything they said and um, Another thing is I would give my heart, my soul, and my body to these guys, and they did not do anything to invest in me uh, by giving me a ring. Now, it's okay if they give you a ring, that's fine, but they got to set a date or you'll be in terminal limbo, okay? Uh, uh, one of my worst mistakes was the guy says, yeah, I'm going to marry, I'm going to go marry. Well, there was no ring that was of substantial investment, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> yeah, if a guy really wants you, he's going to invest in a ring, okay? And uh, he's gonna get on his knees, right? So first thing is, girls, don't believe everything that you s hear. It's all about what you see. Uh, another thing is, right off the bat, if they're trying to control you, by telling you how to dress, how to act, how to wear your makeup, honey, run away. If you're my age, almost 66, and they're trying to change you at that late in your life, honey, run away. That's why all the other women didn't want anything to do with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't be surprised if they get back with their exes, too. That is a very real possibility. Um... Uh, if they if they have a huge gun collection and uh, they are um, I guess trying to offset their size or their ego with their gun collection or their car collection, be very wear, wary of a guy that uh, has both. Yeah, because. I, uh, I was used to be turned on by, you know, horsepower. Uh, but in today's society, if, if, if that guy's got a lot of um, toys, let me tell you what, he, ain't got, he hasn't got money for you. He hasn't got money. Uh, he's too busy doing his thing, which is fine. I get that. But if they never incorporate what you would like to do, huge issue i dated one guy for two years i swear to god not once did he ask me what would you like to do and i was at his beck and call always doing what he wanted to do i gave everything i had to this guy no the girls don't do that also if a guy makes you cry i don't care for what reason get your purse walk out the door block him because no guy should ever make a woman cry and if the guy is not respectful to his parents watch out too or if he's not calling his parents or or trying to be a good son uh if he's bad mouthing his family that's another big red flag people but um yeah, a lot of guys try to uh, make themselves a little macho by all their little tattoos, honey. If he was a smart guy, he'd put the money that he would have gotten a tattoo and put it in the bank, right, for a rainy day. Those are the guys you want, honey. Now, I've always been somewhat attracted to what I found out is narcissistic behavior and narcissists, and you don't want to go there they they are charming they're sexy they um let's see they're charming and sexy they're interesting uh and they're constantly talking about what they have and um and i've learned that those are the bad dudes people those are the bad dudes you want a guy that is so well-rounded, he doesn't sit around talking about how much money he made last year or his, or his uh, toys. Um, and if you ever see a guy uh, being mean to an animal, you know, that is the, that is the worst, I think. Yeah, any, any guy that would be mean to an animal. If the guy has never been married, 
that is a huge one. If he's been, because uh, when I first started doing this channel or being on the online dating sites, I would say, I don't want anybody that's been, you know, married multiple times. Well, by the time you're near 60, it's kind of normal for some people to be married two and three times. So don't discount that. They could have just been like us girls and dated crazy ass females, right? So don't discount that though. So um, let's see, what else? Never, ever, are you women's livers? Don't pay for the meal. No. Yeah, I try to be very, you know, in with it and pay for a lot of my meals. And I realize that doesn't get you anywhere. It means you're with a freaking jerk. I know this is going to make a lot of you guys mad, but sorry. Um, yeah, just sorry. This is tea, people. Mm. So... I'm waiting for my uh, family to arrive, and uh, I am starving. I am so starving. But, yeah, it's a good day, even though it's kind of crappy outside. But yeah, I'll tell you what, in January, this is when you do inside work so that come spring, you can get out of the house, people, and really enjoy yourself. So, uh, yeah, please, girls, heed what I'm saying. Uh, and for all you guys who think, well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Well, I was married for 40 years, and I've been dating for 12 or 13. And I um, thought I was in love with a couple of them. And, um, and I maybe I really think I really was in love with a couple of them. But they turned out to be just horrible. So be wary of the narcissist. Yes, we all know that they're charming and lovely and braggots or whatever, but you don't want a narcissist. Um, so what else? Oh, yeah, don't loan them money. Don't loan them money. And if you're the one that's always having to go to their house or travel to their house, you're always having to pack your bags to go to them. That's another red flag. If he really wants to be in your life, he will meet you halfway or sometimes come to your house. So, uh, yeah, that's another one. If he doesn't help you around anything in the house, he's a freaking, I started to say fucking loser. Uh, I had one guy that wanted... Um, made me pay $36 an hour for him to do some things in my house. And half the time he wasn't even here. He would leave other co-workers here and he'd go to the bars and drink, you know. But if, oh, here's another big one. If you're on a date or on a vacation, uh, or if you're on a date and all of a sudden he goes, oh, I gotta go now. And he's doing this kind of in a really odd times and places. I guarantee you he's out buying drugs. Or he's got another girlfriend on the side. Because nobody should be um, just leaving a date fa really fast and just saying, I got to go now. Or if you're at his house and all of a sudden he's got to go take a ride around the block and he doesn't take you. Whoa, whoa, and whoa. That is just not good. Um, yeah, that one kind of snuck up on me. Uh, a lot of people will also make you cry to control you. Uh, one guy I knew very well, he would purposely get me extremely upset so that my blood pressure would go up and I would get really, really sick. I mean, sick to the point where I needed to be in the hospital because my blood pressure was running 200 over 100. Any guy that would purposely um, start an argument just so he can go do what the hell he wants to because he knows you're not going to go anywhere. He knows you're in the bed, sick as a dog. Those are very evil people. Those are very evil people. Yeah. So I hope there's just one person out there. And I also will tell you this. Uh, if you are trying to get out of a, a bad marriage, even though your divorce is not final, you girls can call um, 
the courthouse in your town and ask how you go about getting some emergency support and uh, because some some divorces will take seven years mine did and I needed something you know to tide me over I had nothing you know so yeah you girls there is such a thing and uh, all you guys that's going to uh, make little comments on here I am going to block the comments okay because uh, if a girl has given you many, many years of her life and for some reason she finds out that you've been dishonest or creepy, um, she has a right, especially if she's given up her career for yours to help you get to your statue of uh, in, in the society. Um, yeah, you can get... And it's just a matter of, now, if someone at your courthouse says there's no such thing, call somebody else. Go to the courthouse. Talk to many people. Talk, um, a lot of y'all can't even afford attorneys. Um, I didn't even know this. But if you don't have money for an attorney, you can file a motion yourself. Uh, get the forms online. File a motion to have your spouse pay for the divorce. Uh, I know I gave up $9,000 in three months. Really, I sold everything I had. Didn't do me any bit of good. Uh, I did not know. And I had talked to like 10 attorneys. And uh, I found out after the fact that if you are destitute, you have no assets. Don't sell the last thing that you own. I almost had to sell my car. Then I would have been carless. I would not have been able to do anything. You can file a motion to have the, the your spouse pay for your divorce especially if uh you know he's been the breadwinner and you haven't uh but th that really shouldn't have anything if you are if you don't have any money you can still file uh because that's what it's there for it's to protect you because it's very easy to get so depressed that you're suicidal that you don't want to live there is a, there is um, a rainbow. I was once in that deep, dark pit of hell. And um, only through my faith in God did I get, did I not do anything stupid. All right. Bye, everyone.